Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your daily read. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius asks the cards, what do uh, you want Aquarius to know? What do you want Aquarius to know, spirit? You have the five of cups, six of pentacles, and the four of wands. So what spirit wants you to know is that um, out of your pain came gain, and now you are being initiated into something rather big there is reason to celebrate there's cause to celebrate because something has been made known to you you use pain in order to elevate ascend go to the next level for it to bring you money um you may even help navigate people out of painful situations your intellect has been you know increased here therefore six of pentacles the opportunity to have wealth is increased money is coming in money going out there's balance here uh four of wands big contract uh celebration uh reunion something was already embedded in you but it was about you unlocking it and then going after it and then putting yourself out there and then the spirit realm being her celebratory, gracious, grateful that you, you did the work. Self-care with the four, the four wands, especially for my feminine energy. You did the work and now you found like um, you found prosperity here. Yeah, with the magician at the bottom of the deck. You found good health, financial prosperity, and you you can rightfully channel the divine with the magician at the bottom of the deck. This is so powerful, Aquarius. You took what was meant to keep you stuck or maybe in some cyclical energy where you just would repeat the cycle. You took it and you, you grew from it. What else do we want to tell Aquarius here? Spirit, what else do we want to tell Aquarius? Proud. Proud. Proud of you. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you took something um, that was meant to break you. To bind you. Um, something that was meant to destroy your self-esteem. Strength. Yeah, but you found your strength. You dug deep. Okay, and you forgave firstly yourself and then others. You were working inward and then outward. Um, you got your life on track together. You tamed your emotions, emotional intellect also. Things don't unravel you, upset you as it used to. Not readily wow as i say that nine of cups you found emotional <laughs> stability all by yourself now you're about to get some type of wish fulfillment all by yourself you did something and now something is about to <clears throat> be um gifted to you nine of pentacles Aquarius, you're at the precipice. You're at the culmination of something. This is going to end and then you're going to create something more and greater. It's levels to this. Ascension. You're going up, up, up. Yeah, all of a sudden the tower. You could be this could be a good tower for you though. All of a sudden something you break. There is breakdown to have breakthrough or breakthrough and then breakdown whichever one comes first you got through something here you maintain you persevered uh, let's see wow i can't make it up tower emperor could be dealing with a scorpio or you had some scorpionic type of transformation like you went from one dynamic to the next like you went from 
being just outrageous, outlandish, immature, all over the board to just like completely grounded within yourself. You're a completely different person. You literally, literally went through the death and rebirth stage. Therefore, proud, excuse me, proud, proud of you. Uh, the emperor, you're going to become an expert in your field or you already are. Um, solidarity, you built or you will build something from nothing. The emperor sits on the gray throne, okay? That means that um, the gray throne and in the background is the desert. You built something from nothing, the desert. Nothing was given to this person. You did something all alone, Aquarius. You found st stability all alone. You did this. You're doing this. Continue. Let me see what else is going on here. Um, God, God. All of a sudden, you found the God complex. Page of Swords. What is this about? Her botany. I don't know what I know that's flowers and you know horticulture, I don't know, you know, but um plants. Um, could be a botanist or it had something to do with maybe your business or something that you need to learn. You need to okay. You need to learn botany. The page of swords. The page of swords is inquisitive information gather. So you need to gather information about botany. This is also some people spying on you. You know, um, past, present, and a future. Future people spying on you. This is um, this is the uh, occult sorrow. This is the demon that reconciles friends and foes. Botus. So he's a snake. So these are people who... They're going to reconcile old friends and and foes here. People who are contrary to you. You, know, you don't like them. They don't like you or whatever it may be. They, you know, just a distaste there. But there may be uh, reconciling. So you may just go over an account of what happened and then you move forward. I don't know if you're going to become friends again and you're going to skip off into the sunset. But who cares really? Um the page of swords something about learning something these people could be trying to gather information on you too seven of swords yeah this you are the subject of gossip subject of gossip people trying to stay you know um what's the word like uh undetected that they're spying on you so they could be under different uh, guise or a disguise or under a different account if it's online or you know, asking about you in a roundabout way to people who still talk to you or the lovers here. This could be a Gemini who's doing this. It could be another Aquarius, uh, third Deacon Aquarius. So this would be late February. This could be another Aquarius, uh, early Aquarius, first Deacon Aquarius too. Um, this could also be that uh, somebody's trying to interference, come in. This could even be somebody, this could be secret admirer or someone who loves you. Okay. Someone who loves you. And uh, I don't know if they've told you. They are spying on you. Yeah, four of pentacles. They may have held this to themselves with the four of pentacles. possessiveness they they have not let you go you still are in their heart or in their mind's eye i don't know whatever you still somewhere with this person they haven't let it go knight of wands they want to come rushing in and you know sway you seduce you get you you know back excited about them you know do some fast action here seven of pentacles but it's like the universe has put restriction saturn restriction between you and this person but they like they're energetically karmically restricted to come to come towards you six of wands and six of swords they see you marching on your very way 
happy, strutting your stuff, getting public recognition, accolades. They see you peaceful, harmonious, maybe even moving forward. They see you just letting the headache go. That was this relationship. This person may have never expressed to you again that they love you. The Six of Swords sometimes comes out when someone loves you and they haven't said it verbally. Four of Cups. Yeah, this person is, you know, in a feminine energy where they're internalizing everything. So feminine energy is cyclical. It's a circle. So it's, you know, it's inside and it's going over and over. And then masculine energy is outward. It's just, you know, it's, it's projecting outward. So um, you've got somebody, it could be a man in a feminine energy where he's just inward, you know, it's not letting anything out, just going over and over, which would be, you know, um, self-centeredness and, you know, uh, projecting everything or, you know, directing everything back to yourself and what was me and depression. This is, you know, this could be depression. Also, somebody's slipping into depression because they feel rejected or like they will be rejected if they do come to you. Someone missing out on the opportunity or the blessing because they're just still in that cyclical energy where they're like, I can't go to the Aquarius. If I go to the Aquarius, they'll tell me this and they'll say that. And I'll say no and then I'll fall apart and I'll just die and I'll crumble. And it's just, you know, that type of energy or this could be you Aquarius. The page of pentacles. Knows virtues of precious stones and herbs. Back to horticulture. I don't know. Some of you need to learn something. The pages are the messengers. They're still. You may even be in a place where you might start guiding other people. So you're going to give knowledge or teach. Or you are in that capacity. Will of fortune. Yeah, something about your fortune. Your trajectory changes. The universe aligns something for you to take action. For you to be on top. The wheel is turning. And now you're in an inner. You, you might be in the ten of cups. Ten of pentacles type of energy. Where um, you just need to make it real. If you're in the ten of cups. It's the stage is set for absolute um happiness or the highest level of happiness or something to be made real it's just about you still doing the work taking the opportunity seeing that doors are opening and you walk through them you could be sitting amongst different people social groups your psychic abilities could just be heightened at this time you think it and then it happens you dream it and then you get confirmation um, if you're asking about a particular person, yes, this person is your soulmate. What kind of soulmate? Toxic one, good one, only you know. I don't know. This person could be masculine energy, wants to reconcile with you. They feel like you're the one that got away. They know that they, if, look, if they know if they come back, they have to do something big and grandiose, propose to you, come back with a dog, a cat, a house, a car. I don't know. They're going to have to do something major to get you to, you know, the major could be different for everybody, you know, but um, they have to do something pretty big to get you to take to this. So you got reconciliation and initially when we first pulled the cards, the universe is proud of you because you took your pain and you turned it into something that is fruitful, um, prosperous, and um, you could, you're you helping other people. You could even be guiding other people, Aquarius. Uh, you're in a very attractive energy. People see your abundance. People see your worth. People see that you're a good catch. You're understanding that also. You take care of your body, uh, your physical um, dwelling. The star card at the bottom of the deck, that's you, Aquarius. So you have come into complete alignment or some of you need to 
come into alignment do some chakra healing let some things go it talks about releasing the baggage from previous relationships you're carrying it around it also talks about beauty fashion it talks about you being the star or the center of something so you need to be the face of something you need to put yourself out there it says um maybe with a large group or use of some tech tech techno technology some type of technology here the death card so you need to go from one dynamic to the to the next if you or you will you're gonna go from unknown to known or you need to do something to make yourself be in that energy or you need to do something dynamic so it's not a small thing that you do when you say I did something dynamic or I'm going to do, you know, change the dynamic of, you know, so I don't know. You need to change something here with the death card coming out. There was an ending to a relationship, the high priestess. So you need to, you've got some gift repressed. So that means it's been there with you. It may have been repressed because you didn't believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Um, you didn't believe in yourself. Other people didn't believe in you. It just wasn't fostered. It wasn't cultivated within you. This gift, it could be singing, it could be dancing, it could be acting, it could be anything. It could be sewing. It could be you ride a bicycle really good. I don't know. Whatever it is, you know, it has been with you. Okay, Aquarius, the camera died, but you can still hear me. Hang on. Whatever this thing is, it's been with you. And you need to foster it. Hold on. Yeah. So, it says that, oh, great. It says that the decision needs to be made, Aquarius. It's like the universe has been speaking to you a still small whisper about what it is you should be doing. Yeah, Aquarius, about what it is you should be doing, how you should be doing it, where you should be putting your time, your energy, your effort. Uh, So this is your gift, right? This is what you were born with. It's been repressed inside of you, okay? Um, this is could be cultural culturalization. So I know the culture, society tells you that you need to chase after money, you know, like we all do, right? And um, so then you don't ever foster or cultivate your gift. You just let it be dormant inside of you or repressed, right? And in all of your life or most of it, all of your life, um, that that whisper of, you know, yeah, you can sing. You should sing. But you're a lawyer or you're a physician or you're whatever. Or, yes, you, you can really sew very well or, you know, things... Uh, Something that you do that is innately embedded in you is you do it well or you could be doing it well, especially if you took some time to actually foster it. It's like the universe has been telling you this is what you should be doing. This is where you will find fulfillment for we were made to create. When we're not creating. That's when we, we find despondency. We were checked out. We're not happy. We start asking the questions of what was I put here for? It's because you aren't creating anything. You just are maintaining it. Someone's created the job for you and they tell you how to do it and what you should do. And you do it, you know, like clockwork around the clock. You aren't creating anything, you know, so um, there the creator, the creativity spark, you know, it's off. So. That's when the high priestess starts to whisper to you again about your gift. Because everybody has one. I'm 
there's somebody trying to do some work or they were they were trying to do work they're under judgment you cut this person off you, you stop talking to them and you kind of delved into your spirituality. It just caused for this person to go crazy that you don't talk to them. You could be the mother of, you know, the, the mother of their children or, I don't know, mother of, you could stop talking to one of your children. I don't know. But whatever this is, it's like you shutting this off, like turning the vow off, caused this person to go absolutely batshit crazy. They can't get over the fact that you just don't deal with them on any level. Aquarius, you're doing some real high quality work here. You started something new or you will. Started some side hustle business. Getting it together. You need to get on some tutelage, some mentorship. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. The universe is proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. You took pain and you turned it into gain. You're helping others. You're helping yourself. You've released, you know, the the need or the desire or the constraints of um, what you should be doing. And you, you're going into what... Um, What is best for you to do? Where where do you best serve? You know, where does it where do you excel to where it, you know you're thriving? Yeah, you're ending something. You have ended something. What was meant for pain is over. It's a no. It's an absolute no for somebody or something. For this wealthy man, I heard also there's an end to like despair, disparaging times or destitution or just not having enough it's an end to that you're coming into a wealthy time the wealthy man showing up wow high honor also again you had that emperor showing up you took something five of cups six of pentacles four of wands high honor four of wands people being proud of you you being celebrated cause to celebrate you took pain the coffin he turned it into money, the Six of Pentacles. Let's see. Adjudication. Somebody does want you to hear them out. Just give me one more chance. Especially when they see you in this energy. The wealthy man, high honor. Main male could be somebody who it never really got off the ground with. You could call them your boyfriend, but you really can't. You know, it's, it's that type of situation. You could have been you was in some long term relationship with them. Yeah, it was a lot of play. So it wasn't real. It was playful. It was this person could want to marry you now. And they be, could be coming back and saying, I've changed. Without you, my life sucks. Um could be getting a message from this person that they want to date you for real they main male and main female they want to you see great fortune with you wow sudden wealth this is what i'm talking about this is like the second time i can count these two cards came out hand in hand now if you have this deck you read the book when these cards are side by side this is like generational wealth. This is like so much money. This is so fortunate. Okay. Great fortune and sudden wealth. You, because you did the hard work. The toil and the labor. Okay. Something is petty or pesky right now. But you're going to have victory. 23. The uh, royal star of the lion uh success you're protected and you have the favor of higher ups that's what i'm talking about people who are trying to come in and be you know a thief really coming in for their own reasoning trying to think of ways to get 
you back or get you occupied or preoccupied on them, get you stuck on them. It's just not going to work. You're protected. They come back with small offers too, small ass offers. The universe has, you know, raised your awareness, your psychic abilities to the point where you're going to see this and you're like, I'm way too abundant for this. I'm way too fly for this. The privileged lady. You be going on a journey, a trip. Somebody here, you may be getting some secrets. I heard this could be a dream about someone in your family here. With the message of concern in family room, getting some knowledge about something secret, some man having sex out in the woods. No, I'm joking. I, I <laughs> don't you just love it when you you getting some secret about um. Someone being in bad health, they could have an STD or they could have something that they can't get rid of or they could just have a terminal illness. Um, you get some secret also about maybe some man having some sexual relationship outside of the, outside of the marriage. That's why they had me holding this dang card. I'm like, why am I holding this card in my hand? Aquarius, none of this shit concerns you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but it does it really. Um, a lot of you high vibrational Aquarius, it just really doesn't concern you. It's like, yeah, well, good luck to them. I'll pray for them. Keep them in my prayers. Um, some of you are just in a place where, you know, things are just wonderful. You can't, you can't negate it. You can't get over it. Um, you can't get over how far you've come. How far removed you are from some of this drama, this turbulence. Um, and uh, you're happy about it. You're happy. You're singing. Um, the universe is proud of you. You took something and you turned it into money. You turned it into unlocking your true self, unlocking the high priestess energy, what you were meant to do. That you, you took that masculine, the magician, and then that feminine, high priestess energy. And then the divine came in and blessed you. And now you put out some quality service, product, work. Especially if you work for yourself. Is it possible for you to be doing high quality work for someone else? Yes. Yes, it is. But in order for, you know, God to really use you, you might have to get to a place where you do something for yourself. Or you've created something for yourself. So that could be debated. Jump down in the comments and debate that, you know. Can you work for a company? Can you work for other people and still be extremely effective in your gifts? Uh, let me know how you feel about that. Also, Aquarius, the universe wants you to know that they're just super proud of you, especially those of you who just took something that was meant to just discourage you or keep you in some loop or in some cycle. And you just like, nope, I want to take this. I'm going to learn about me. I'm going to learn about what I've been through. I'm going to rise up. I'm going to grow. I'm going to ascend. I'm going to the next level. You know, this is beautiful. And I'm proud too, Aquarius. Um if you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or eight by texting it to the number below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.